What's going on guys? You already know what it is. It's your boy Drex OTG. Part of my voice, man. I'm coming down with a cold. Probably some some careless adults spreading germs. I'm not even gonna blame it on children, but nevertheless, today's video we got a good one for you. I'm going over lunges and squats. Um, lunges and squats are great exercises regardless of where you are in your fitness journey. Just beginning, been doing it for a while, been doing it for years. Um, the good thing about lunges and squats, um, it requires a high metabolic demand. You're going to get total body integration, so you're going to work that lower that lower uh, that lower body area, but you're also going to incorporate things like your core, your posterior chain, even your interior chain. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. We got a great one for you starting now. I started with the walking lunge. Now your rep count for the walking lunge is either going to be distance or time. So you're going to say, okay, I'm going to do walking lunges for 30 seconds or I'm going to do 25 meters, whatever you choose, but that's going to be your rep range. Um, like I said previously, when you're doing your lunges, you just want to make sure that you're keeping everything tight, uh, keeping that spine aligned perfectly, making sure that your knees aren't buckling. You can see in the video, you want to make sure that you have that good 90 degree angle. This is a good exercise because it isolates each leg individually so that you're able to, <coughs> excuse me, you're able to build and grow on each leg individually. Make sure that you're training them evenly um, and that it helps eliminate any imbalances that can occur. The goblet squat. The goblet squat is really good. Um, you can do it a couple of different ways. You can see in the video, I held mine like this. Usually if you're holding it like this, you're gonna hold a heavier weight. Um, when you hold it like this, you get a little bit more support because everything is a little bit more tight. So, ah, uh, excuse me, this is horrible. Um, in that particular instance, my weight wasn't too heavy. I think that was like a 35 pound or so. In all actuality, I could have held it the other way, which is like this. You would have a grip on the top of the kettlebell as opposed to having the kettlebell upside down. The main things you want to remember when doing this exercise, like I said, first of all, you're still you're lunging or squatting, so you want to make sure that you're keeping your spine erect, uh, nice straight spine, you don't want to bend, uh, and you want to make sure that, again, your knees are in the right position at 90 degree angle from top to bottom and then you just work your way into it man the goblet squat is really good for me i used it a lot because i've always had issues with mobility and flexibility and for some odd reason i feel like weighted squats which is easier than opposed to just regular body squats or air squats so goblet squats is another thing you definitely want to throw into routine if you're training the lower body the lateral lunge curl. The lateral lunge curl is really good, clearly. Um, the same thing, you're lunging, but now your movement isn't front to back. You're moving in a lateral, a lateral movement, which is side to side, um, which is a little bit more of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Coordination, I guess. It, it, it so it's going to train your mind as far as like your coordination. In addition to that, it's also giving you that bicep integration. So you're able to train your upper body at the same time you're training your lower body. It's a really great exercise. It's one of my favorites. Again, high metabolic demand, total body integration. So you're getting that. You're getting your heart rate up. You're getting the demand. Your blood's pumping. Um, that's definitely one of my favorites. So I definitely recommend you guys incorporate that into your late day routine. Shit, and into your hit training as well because it's definitely hit training. Um, give you, I say set yourself up um, Rep count for that is clearly going to be the lunge Each lunge is going to be one curl So I guess you can count the curls or the lunge Whichever you want to But give yourself a decent amount of reps And see how you feel afterwards You definitely won't feel that heart rate elevated The walking kettlebell lunge Another great one um, 
Same thing, the main cue for this one, you wanna make sure that you're keeping that elbow tight. When I first started, I had the problem of my elbow would be out, so I would be holding the weight and I would be holding it like this as opposed to having everything really tight. Um, you definitely wanna stay tight, make sure you're engaging your core and everything else. So every time you lunge, uh, if you're doing walking kettlebell lunges, whichever hand is holding the weight, that's gonna be the leg that you start with. So let's say you're walking from wall to wall. When you get to the opposite wall, you're gonna switch the hands that the weight is in, and then that leg is gonna take lead. You're gonna alternate legs while you're walking. It's just to make sure that everything is even. Again, we wanna avoid any imbalances if we can, but the uh, the kettlebell walking lunge is great. Like I said, weighted, weighted exercises have a tendency to either make or break you. For me, it helped make, you know what I mean? It helped me find that extra momentum as far as keeping myself tight and keeping myself balanced. So this is another favorite of mine. Check that out, see how you guys like it. All right, next one is the medicine ball wall squats. Um, I like these a lot. We do these in the program that I do called Tribe. Um, it's a really good exercise in my opinion. Uh, you're squatting, but you're getting that explosive power at the same time. Uh, so what you're doing is you're coming down into a regular squat and as you come up, you're launching explosively the medicine ball. Um, pick one of your choosing. I typically stay around 16 to 20 pounds because um, you're going to do a high rep range, so it's going to catch up to you. Um, but you pick the ball that's comfortable for you. Um, like I said, as you come up into your squat, you want to really explode and launch that ball up as hard and as high as you can. As it comes down, you catch it and you go right back down into your squat and you repeat the motion. Same thing, you're squatting. So what have we been saying all video? Make sure that you're keeping that straight spine. You want to avoid excessive lumbar flexion. You want to make sure that you got a perfect 90 degree angle. And again, if you're at that point where you can't go too low, that's fine. You can do a slight bend. Um, just make sure that your form is correct because if you start training in bad form, then you're going to develop bad habits and bad habits are hard to break. Not only that, but you put yourself at a high risk for injury. So, um, the medicine ball wall squat, yeah, that's one of my favorites. And finally, I've talked about TRX before. Um, I've actually done a TRX video, I just didn't put it up. I plan on actually re-recording it, but anyway. Uh, we're doing regular air squats, body squats, whatever you want to call it. But we're holding the TRX straps while we do them. Um, this is really beneficial for people who may not have any level of flexibility at all. Might be just beginning, maybe have an injury, whatever the case may be. The, uh, the TRX straps actually can help you with stability and balance. So if traditionally your range is here, holding those straps will allow you to take it even lower because you have that added support. Uh, so I just did a couple of reps just for the purpose of being able to demo it to you guys. Uh, but that's definitely something that you might want to keep in mind if you're new to squatting, to lunges, because you can incorporate. TRX is full body, so you can even do upper body movements with it. Uh, but for the purpose of this video, lunges, squats, uh, alternating back and forth for whatever you want to do, it's a really good system, like I said, to help provide that extra stability, that extra balance, um, and just for you to sort of familiarize yourself with the movements and to get better at the movements. That's it for the day, guys. Thanks for putting up with my horrible, horrible sounding voice. Hopefully next video this cold will be gone and I'll be back in the swing of things. Uh, be sure to check us out on IG, man. Energy Excels underscore D O Z. You already know what it is, man. It's your boy Drexel TG. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you guys next time.